Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kurt with Rock County Adventures. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. I was wanting to do this in the summer, springtime, but uh, it's currently just before Christmas and uh, it's one degrees outside. So I won't be doing this outside, I'll be doing this inside. So I, I gathered a few minerals that glow in the dark when you use a UV light. We have three different lights we're going to be using. We have just your basic uh, black 395 nm uh, long wave light that you can pick up at Walmart for like 10 bucks um, and then you have the UV beast uh, Where's it at there we go the UV beast uh, 365 nm long wave black light and then we have a smaller uh, dark beam uh, 365 uh, flashlight so uh, we're just we're just, I'm just gonna kind of show you uh, the comparison between the 365 and the 395 so that way this video can help you guys choose um, accordingly to what you guys are wanting um, I'm not going deep into the science of the flashlights there are other videos and channels out there for that um, I'm just kind of showing you all just like a basic um, breakdown of what flashlight looks like what against different minerals so uh, uh, to start off let me turn off the lights and uh, we're gonna start off with the 395 and then go to the uh, dark beam which is just a, about the same size just a little bit smaller and then we'll go to the UVBs from there and just so you guys know I am NOT sponsored by any of these companies I'm just doing this because it's fun I like rocks that glow and I like making content for you guys. So uh, let me uh, turn the lights off. I'll be right back. Actually, before I turn the lights off, I just want to go over with you what rocks we're going to be looking at. Um, these two right here are, I'm, I'm not sure if the video is going to come out before this video or not, but where I'm hunting uh, stromatolites um, in limestone. Uh, so that's what these are right here. And you can see the detail of the stromatolite under the black light way better than you can in the normal uh, daylight uh, in the normal daylight scene um, and then this right here is stromatolite in Traventine I believe um, found in the same exact area I find all this um, but uh, I um, so this stuff glows like crazy and this is just a small piece of calcite that I found in my video on the mudslide, rock counting a mudslide at night. Same thing with this little piece of agate. Um, and then this right here is uh, green fluorite with amethyst from Nancy Hanks Gulch from my videos. Um, and this video hasn't come out yet, but these are agates that I found up on uh, the Grand Mesa uh, in Colorado, which is the largest flat top mountain in the world and this is also stromatolite but this is jasperized uh, stromatolite I found out in Utah or eastern U Utah and then this is a piece of uh, fluorite um, mixed with limestone with like brachio brachiopod fossils and such that I found out in Maysville Kentucky um, back in 2019 um, and then again this one is just another piece of stromatolite uh, so let's go ahead and turn the lights off and take a look. Okay, lights are off. The first one is the 395 Walmart flashlight. Uh, it it puts out a really purple uh, um, beam and it doesn't really show a whole lot. But uh, for the first piece, you can kind of see the detail just from the structure of the stromatolite. Um, can't really see much there on that piece. This is the Traventine stromatolite. Not really showing much. This one does have an afterglow, so I'm going to turn the flashlight off and see what it does. It does nothing. Um, kind of. It's not really picking up in the video, but um, uh, off the video, this is barely lighting up blue um, let's see these light up like crazy normally but as you can tell these are the Grand Mesa agates that I tumbled not much glow on either one of these here is the Utah stromatolite 
And the last one is this fluorite from Kentucky. And it does not have an afterglow. So let's go ahead and swap over to the other flashlight. Okay, so for the dark beam flashlight, let's see if we can find the on button. There we go. You can see that way better. So uh, let's start off with the Sermatolite pieces. And this is the Dark Beam 365 rechargeable light, which is on Amazon, I believe, for like $14.99. Um, some of the like pros for this one, from what I haven't tested it, it out yet, um, but one of the pros is it says it'll last eight hours on a full charge, which is great. Um, I'm not sure if that's on continuous runtime or if it's just off and on, um, but uh, definitely does a good job showing the mi minerals. You can kind of see uh, right here on the outside of the of the fluorite that neon electric blue. Um, that's what this whole stone looks like for me with this flashlight. Um, kind of see that a little bit, and then. This is a p small agate from the uh, mudslide area. Uh, this has an afterglow effect to it, as you guys can see. This is a piece of calcite, and it's kind of lighting up orange, not too much. And then you have the travertine stromatolite. Looks like it's white for you guys. But uh, the afterglow effect, super cool. There's no the other piece of stromatolite. And then here is the Grand Mesa agates. You guys can see these things are glowing like orange, are glowing orange like crazy. Super beautiful. glowing kind of like a yellowish tone and then the other stromatolite from Utah glowing orange and then the fluorite is glowing like a like a yellowish orange it's kind of hard to, uh, just kind of washing it out on the video footage but uh, yeah super cool so that is the dark beam uh, rechargeable flashlight um, and I'm, I bought this one for my nephew. I'm going to be sending him some glowing rocks and this flashlight for Christmas. Um, so we are going to flip over to the uh, UV Beast. But I do plan on getting one, another, one, another one of those flashlights for myself. Um, and, uh, like, and then the uh, UV Beast flashlight I think does the best job out of all three of them. Um, here is the stromatolite, shows a, an amazing amount of detail. Another piece of stromatolite. You can see the layers there, some of the detailed work on the bottom there. That's kind of kind of picking up some red there on the bottom that's kind of cool and then the travertine stromatolite and let's turn off for the afterglow effect ooh look at that <laughs> so pretty and then here is the small agate oh hold on there you go and then the calcite is uh, glowing way more orange than the other dark beam flashlight was sh uh, showing. And then the fluorite. Try to see if I can get that blue to just like pop, but it's kind of hard. But yeah, it's it's glowing like crazy. And then the fluorite. 
does a better job. It's not washing it out as much. Uh, super beautiful. The Utah Stromatolite. And then the Grand Mesa Agates. So there you go. And if you guys want to learn about how the, the UV light reacts with the minerals, go over to Jared, currently Rock Hounding's channel. I'll link his video. He did a basic um, video that explains how the UV lights react with the minerals. Um, so go over there and check him out. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. But uh, let's go ahead and turn the light on real quick. And I'm just going to tell you a couple pros and cons uh, about each flashlight before we head off. Okay, so for the first flight, this one right here. This is your basic Walmart UV 395 NM black light long wave black light. The pros? There's not really any pros. Cons? Uh, cons, I'd probably say a don't do anything for um, if you're hounding in the dark. Um, they don't really produce much light uh, or glow. Uh, they I th This flashlight will last like it runs off of three triple A's. It lasts probably about an hour um, before it dies or you start having issues where it just won't turn on uh, so yeah not much to say about this one I really this was my first light I bought in 2019 don't really like it I've tried hunting with you for uh, Uper lights on uh, Lake Michigan didn't do a single thing <laughs> uh, so the next light is the uh, dark beam uh, uh, flashlight the a300-365 nm so like one cool thing is about this one is it uh if you want a narrow beam you can pull it back and it'll be a narrow beam or if you want a wider beam you you uh just smash the uh or just push it together um this is an, an, an another great con is it's small it has a pocket clip um and uh from like what I was saying earlier, from what I read, it will hold up to about eight hours for a full charge. Um, and uh, yeah, so I will be definitely getting one of these for myself uh, in the near future. And uh, it also comes with a charging cable for it, so that way you can charge it with from a micro USB uh, cord. Okay, and the uh, next one is the uh, 365 NM long wave UV beast. Uh, black light. I like this one because it shows uh, it's uh, a lot more uh, stronger powered uh, to uh, to the dark beam flashlight. Sorry, my girlfriend just scared the crap out of me. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the UV beast uh, is a lot larger in size compared to the uh, uh, dark beam. Um, you can put this one in your pocket, but it will stick out. <laughs> uh, the pros of it, it will last uh, four to five hours on a full charge. If you buy a third battery um, and use the extender, it will last for an additional two hours. Um, this will overheat. Well, I wouldn't say it overheats. It, um, after about probably 30 minutes of use, it will start heating up. And if it gets too hot, it will shut itself off. Um, but then you can immediately use it after that. Um, so out of, out of continuous use, I'd probably say it will last 30 minutes to an hour, um, but on a full charge, it will last eight hours, but this part will get really hot. Um, and uh, um, it's strong, super strong powered. Uh, and it also comes with a one year manufacturer warranty. So that way, if anything were to go wrong with it, uh, the man the manufacturer or UV beast will replace it uh, no questions asked um, but uh, yeah but uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this video helped clarify which is a better flashlight out of these three flashlights uh, or UV flashlights and uh, how they react with the minerals um, but I hope you guys have a fantastic week rock on find some cool rocks check out the rock on podcast if you have not done so already and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.